Hi there. Uh, I'm I'm Richard. I'm from Ireland, um, and I'm a targeted individual. Um, I just wanted to make a short video just to talk a little bit about uh, about what I see happening um, in my everyday life in Ireland. <clears throat> uh, this would make sense to to some targeted individuals. Um, it won't make sense to others um, and it certainly won't make sense to the general public for the most part to 99% of them anyway because it, it is simply incomprehensible that something like this could uh, could be happening that could be happening um, at, in this time and that nobody actually knows about it um, that's the that's the funniest part about it yeah so what I see in my everyday life here in Ireland as a targeted individual is technology uh, being used such as that uh, that was spoken about by ex uh, SIS whistleblower Brian Coffrin um, for those of you who don't know who he is I'd, I'd advise you to uh, to look up his some of his videos um, and uh, he talks about how the NSA in the US has basically everybody on surveillance so this means that basically they can point this technology at your head uh, get access to your thoughts to your memories to your uh, vision to your hearing um, and not only do they get access to it they can actually manipulate that as well uh, so they can uh, they can obviously plant images uh, in in your mind uh, to alter what you what you see um, they most certainly can um, implant or, or use um, use technology to uh, allow you to hear sounds that are are, are not there um, and they can do things, they can use certain signals. Um, this is something that has been very prevalent in from, from what I see to make people, for example, someone walking by you, a lot of targeted individuals might get somebody who will like uh, uh, touch the right side of their face, do some kind of a hand signal, um, you know, touch, touch certain parts of their face or cough as they're walking past you um, this is something that happened to me when I believed I was getting gang stalked um, about two years ago I, uh, a lot of people would walk past me and cough and I would think oh there's one of my gang stalkers there now people would look at me a certain way when I walk past like a kind of a, a deathly stare at me that would make me believe that it was it was actually somebody gang stalking me but over time I came to realize that uh, in fact these weren't gang stalkers and I'm not saying gang stalkers are not real they most certainly are probably more so in the US for people and there are some in Ireland I'm sure but uh, it is unbelievable how they can uh, target everybody around you your family your friends strangers in the street people who you work with they can make them stare at you. They can make uh, them do some kind of a hand signal at you or touch, you know, something that somebody would think is a normal reaction. Like, you know, you touch your right ear, like it, you get a small bit of an itch or something like that. You touch your right ear or your left ear or you cough. So to any, any, so to any normal person, that would be just a normal action of theirs, you know, something normal that they would do. Um, but to someone who has been subjected to this technology themselves um, you kind of eventually over time see that actually they are just sticking this technology on every poor person's head every member of the public here in Ireland all these tax paying law abiding patriotic citizens of this country um, are subject to this technology um, 
there's really there's more to it and I'm, I'm a little bit even embarrassed to talk about it because it's just so unbelievable that you know it's 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 difficult to comprehend that they would be able to do this but um, you know they, they've shown me that they are able to get inside the minds of my friends my friends children like they will have the three-year-old say some kind of a phrase that is kind of you know relevant to me and my targeting that you just know that that it's it's some kind of thought or, or, or uh, um, something that's been implanted into his or her speech um, you know I even had my my nephews coughing as they they would walk past me in the initial in the initial part of my gang stalking um, and I, I I thought maybe somehow they were involved that someone had informed them that they needed to gang stalk me for some reason but I kept very calm through it all um, I just kind of monitored what was going on and I eventually realized that that nobody was gang stalking me actually that they were just using this technology to make you think that like it's incredible it's absolutely incredible it's devastating it's devastating to me that uh, my friends um, my fellow citizens in this country in Ireland you know decent people they are having their thoughts monitored everybody it seems everybody and are being subject to this technology in some way or another um, there's a lot more intricate details that that uh, that I've I've seen of what they're doing with the technology like you know before someone texts me or calls me they will actually these people on V2K to me these freaks uh, will actually kind of let me know uh, before they will call or they will make them message or text me at a certain time um, Again, a, a number that was always that I've been sensitized to is the number seven. So, people who are important to me, they will always make them call me. For example, at one fifty-seven or two seventeen or you know three twenty-seven. Someone might say you're being oversensitized to that number. There's nothing to it. Um, but when this has been going on for months, of, months and months and months, and they are actually telling you that, hey, look, this is going to happen now, and it happens. I've no idea what they want me to do with all this. It's not like they're showing me because they, uh, you know, like they want to show off their toys or something like that. For me, it's a. Um, for me, it seems to be a form of brainwashing. Um, it's like they are constantly trying to prove how powerful they have, how much power they have over people and what they can make people do. Um, and I, I, I would imagine in some, in some ways, the, the shock of that, the fear of that, the thought of that, when I have been through a lot of depression because of this, because of what's basically happening to everybody, to humanity, I, I, I have, you know it has caused an awful lot of depression and I think they have used that to in some way manipulate my my thought process manipulate my emotions and uh, it seems I mean I, I, I work in sales actually and uh, I an awful lot of my work is out, out of the office so going meeting with clients and that and it seems like they try to play games or predict things that I, I'm going to do and this this happens all day long every day it's been happening for months now um, so I don't know if this video makes sense to much people um, I don't know if these are the things that you see as well where people in your city good people your family your friends are just having this goddamn godforsaken piece of crap technology used on them for their own means whatever their purposes are I don't know if it's for um, this virtual reality, augmented reality, the sentient world where they're supposed to have, and I would believe this, a, a, a digital copy of every one of us on the planet um, in this sentient world, and they are trialing it and seeing how, how it runs uh, with brain to artificial intelligence interface, which I know I'm hooked up to. I get V2K 24-7, dream manipulation, 
brain to B to BCI uh, interface, brain to computer interface. I've got uh, definitely what I believe to be artificial intelligence trying to mimic being a human. Um, but 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 uh, it, it, I, I would believe that it is artificial intelligence. And of course, there's the there's the non-stop torture that they impose on you because it's some some kind of form of control. I, I hope to go into my circumstances of what I've experienced with the torture at some stage but um, I'd really like to hear from other people who again as I said who in their cities believe that they are just pointing this technology at people around you um, and manipulating everybody to you know to to uh, to try to prove or try to do whatever it is they're trying to do with this this um, technology that they're using that seems to be incredibly advanced that seems to be protected in the in, and shrouded in a huge amount of secrecy uh, within the highest ranks of the highest central intelligence agencies in Europe um, in America um, I would say particularly UK and I'm not even sure of what other countries in Europe but you all know there's no real escape in this from country to country. Russia, Europe, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, um, Iran, America, South America, Thailand, and of course China. I've spoken to TIs in every country, even TIs who've traveled from country to country and it follows them everywhere. And actually I myself, I lived in Thailand. I got it over there. I didn't understand what the hell was going on. Um, of, of, of why I was getting this repetitive thing of people doing and acting certain ways around me um, and I went through Europe through Bulgaria um, um, through Bulgaria through Sarajevo Macedonia um, Macedonia and Mani and, and a co Albania I believe I was in um, and this, this followed me everywhere it got worse when I came to Ireland I don't believe we have the technology, the capability, the secrecy, the intelligence agency capabilities to have this technology in Ireland. Again, I, I could be wrong, but actually it's been kind of shown to me that they do mind control the police in this country to a certain extent. Um, and that there's no doubt about that. Just the normal everyday police in this country they stick this technology on them and they do it to them too. Uh, wherever they're doing it from, that's the million dollar question. I've no idea if uh, CIA, MI5 in UK and other um, other highly specialized uh, agencies, authorities throughout Europe are working with a few of the people in the higher echelons of, of uh, institutions in Ireland to um, to roll this out across the country or if it's some rogue organization using it um, using it uh, just throughout the world without the knowledge of of, uh, of most governments in that world but anyway it's sad it's disgusting it's pathetic that the world is not what it seems that we don't have uh, free will as human beings we don't have a right to privacy even in our own thoughts. They have just decided that they're going to use this for whatever means that they use it for evil, nefarious, you know, disgusting means, things things that they do, you know, targeting children and implanting thoughts in their head. Um, it's absolute insanity. Like these people just have to be insane sociopaths, you know, um, so I reckon they're, they're a mix between sociopaths and, and just cowards that they've gotten to be on this side of the technology and they're too afraid to be on, on that side of the technology and they're too afraid to be on this side of it whereas normal human beings are other than, um, other than uh, people like Brian Coffron and probably uh, Robert Duncan who was a ex-CIA whistleblower I believe as well but anyway that is what's happening in Ireland today. Mind control for everybody. <laughs> Not just me, and me a greater extent. They, uh, I get hit with some stuff. I, I'm gonna make another video about it, and it is just, it's just appalling.
but uh, yeah, the whole country, the whole country of this country, mind control. That seems to be the agenda in Ireland and most of the world, actually. Anyway, let me know about your experiences and thanks for listening.